If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tableman? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website, PokemonCard.io. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video here. So funny coincidence, I recorded the Durant video um, yesterday in the afternoon so I could have a video ready for you today. And turns out that Durant ends up winning a 300% tournament that very same day, a few hours later. So the Durant video I published, obviously it's still valid. The core concept of Durant, how it works and um, like what you should be looking at during your turn, during your opponent's turn, what sort of outs they have um, versus what you have in order to accomplish your goal, which is devour, literally devour your opponent's deck and leave them with zero cards um, in their deck left um, remains the same. However, this list does have quite a few differences from the one that I featured yesterday. Um, mainly, it features the Sinchino lineup with the ability make to you may this you must discard a card from your hand in order to use its ability and then once in your turn you may draw two cards so this gives you access to bonus cards during your turn and allows you to um, chain the durant and find other resources such as boss such as color mine such as the yell horn the peonia even to free up some durants from your prize cards and obviously access to energy and lemoncino also has the call for family attack which allows you to search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench. So this combines really nicely with the capture energy, of course. Capture energy, when you attach it, lets you find a basic Pokemon. And so you attach capture energy to your Minchino that hopefully you started with, um, get a Pokemon, and then you get to establish two more and start getting your Durants in play. Once you have your Durants in play, it's much easier to continually chain them through the use of Rescue Carrier versus having to search for them from the deck. Uh, this version also features a different supporter lineup. It features Marnie and Bruno rather than the bird keepers that we utilized yesterday. Um, Marnie, of course, seems a little counterintuitive with what the deck is trying to do in terms of um, decking out your opponent. You might be replenishing their, um, their deck in some points of the game, but you might also be eliminating some resources that they might have needed in order to continue applying pressure um, onto you. So important to consider both and then the bruno is a very nice way to replenish your hand after a knockout which is very easy to do against this deck obviously most pokemon have very low hp other than the snorlax and snorlax is not your main focus at all and even though it has 40 more hp 130 damage these days is basically nothing right you just look at the card and it's basically ko'd <laughs> so um not ideal um for that but that is the trade-off that you have with single price pokemon now i will say the the win is very impressive yeah the win is absolutely very impressive and one way to accelerate the deck out that this player ended up using tcc andrew yeah, so props to him is four copies of curse shovel now curse shovel is a pokemon tool card where if the pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack you discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. So on top of the cards that you already discarded off of Devour, <clears throat> you also get to discard bonus cards after your Durant goes down with Curse Shovel. So there's a lot of merit to that. Um, those bonus cards that you end up discarding, it's possibly up to eight bonus cards thanks to Curse Shovel. That's two extra full Devours per game. So on average, say you find three of those four during a game, um, then that ends up being um, almost two full turns of <clears throat> bonus attacks without attacking, right? And to top things off, like the randomness or the RNG that you see with Devour, whether you discard useful cards for your opponent or not very useful cards in the sense that um, you don't discard energy or you don't discard switching cards, then you discarded good cards for your opponent. But if you discarded energy or switching cards, then you're discarding 
um, bad cards for your opponent in that way. So um, very important to to keep that in mind that the, this deck can be heavily reliant on RNG sometimes, but to make it through um, two phases and a top 16 cut of a 300 person tournament, that is very impressive. Yeah, that is generally very impressive and um, definitely makes me consider Durant a little bit more than you normally would um, based on those results. And then finally, the last thing that I want to mention about this list, um, it does have the Echoing Horn just as last time, even though we weren't able to really use it effectively. Um, I sometimes think that this could be the fourth scoop of med perhaps, but I think the most important thing here is the energies, right? I feel like this list, obviously it worked, obviously it got the result it wanted to, but five energies total um, to be able to like get back to back to back attacks feels iffy to me. Um, perhaps in Chino definitely helps fix that, as in the version that I featured during the previous video, um, we didn't have Sinchino, so we didn't have that consistent draw throughout the game. But only having access to five energies means even if you start a Durant, um, it's very likely that you will not have enough time, um, like you won't be able to use Devour six times total. So I don't know, it just, it seems like this version is relying a lot more on your opponent missing attacks and without crushing hammer, that's also not gonna be as common as with the other list. And um, yeah, I'm also very surprised that they're choosing double turbo energy as the four up and one twin energy. This was something that um, I noticed um, because when I was playing the Durant mirror match in the video that I featured um, earlier this morning, I realized that attacking with Snorlax and applying pressure to your opponent's deck that way with Body Slam is not a bad strategy, especially if lists end up um, not focusing on, um, on, on crushing hammers as much or energy denial, then that's definitely a viable strategy. Obviously you're prone to getting confused and that would be very problematic because then you would lose the twin energies when you scoop up net or you would have to risk the coin flips. but Overall, I definitely feel like um, having four twin energies to access the Snorlax damage seems better, right? The full damage, the 100 damage. So I would definitely switch up the camps for four twin energy and one double turbo energy. Um, and I would love to see an extra um, double turbo. So six total energies that would allow me to attack with Durant instead of five. Five seems a little greedy with no direct way to search for them. That's just me. Obviously, the deck just won a tournament, so hard to question the deck list or the creator. Would be interesting to see if they have any input on it. But um, yeah, that's the deck that just won the tournament after I recorded the video. So pretty ironic, but um, yeah, wanted to make this update, I guess, so that um, you have the latest information ready to go for tournaments and so that you know what's going on in the tournament scene as we head into regionals this month. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.